YouTube family. What's going on, man? We are back for yet another video, man. Your boy Jay is trying to stay on top of him, man. Paul. But yeah, man, today your boy has another first look of some upcoming shoes that is set to release in November. I need to do my research real quick and see what date in November. So, just did my research. These are set to release now on November 10th. They were supposed to be coming out on the October 13th, but they have been pushed back. And um, this shoe will be retailing at 2 25 man i know y'all probably don't know what shoe it is or you might know it depending on if i put it in the thumbnail or not yet man but i'm about to show y'all those shoes man before we get into this video i need y'all to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done that man because 100k is coming man we are knocking at the door of it man we are so close i'm trying to hit it by the end of the year man so if y'all will help your boy out it will be greatly appreciated man share this video get it out there so that the fam can grow man and we hit 100k and y'all can hear me stop talking about 100k but 200k will be on the way after that man so we're gonna preach it until we reach it and we're gonna grind until we shine man so hey that is what we doing man make sure you get this video a like for your boy coming back at y'all man with another video man so yes man today i did say i do have something to show y'all before i show y'all the main course of this video let me show y'all something else that i picked up real quick get y'all thoughts and opinions on it and then we'll go from there oh dang boy gosh come on dang man so here we do have a nike box as y'all can see right here man i ain't gonna spend too much time on it it reads nike dunk yes dunk man are y'all tired of seeing dunks I was actually dunked out, but I did see this dunk when I did go to a, a skate shop, and I was like, hey, those are pretty clean, man. Y'all got them in a nine? He was like, yeah, man, we got a nine. So I picked these up, man, but uh, this dunk right here, color blocking, is what? Pure platinum, white, wolf gray. So these are either the wolf gray dunks or the pure platinum. I think they might be called pure platinum, man, but these right here, bang, man. Pretty, pretty clean in my opinion, man. Um, the one thing that I kind of dislike, but I still kind of like, is the laces. Bang! Here they go right here, man. So this is what, the Pure Platinum Dunk? I think all over suede or new buck upper on the uppers. And it does have like that outline in blue, as you can see. So pretty dope, pretty dope. Pure Platinum or uh, Wolf Gray. But... Like I was saying, what I disliked was the laces. As you can see, these type of laces, man, Um, I don't really care for them. I do like the blue lace tips, but I don't care for the type of laces that's in here, man. So I'm going to definitely probably swap those out with some white laces. Maybe some blue laces, man. I think some blue laces might go dope. Maybe give those blue hits a little pop. But, man, let me know, man. Is this something y'all want to see on the channel? Do I need to hit y'all with an own feet or something to these? Y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions. How y'all feeling about these dunks, the pure platinum dunks. But this is not what the video is about. So let's get them up out of here. And let's go ahead and talk about what this video is about. Yes, sir. Bang, man. So here we do have a collage style box. As you can see right here behind me. Or is, is it blending in? I don't know. Can y'all see that? But anyways, man, we do have a collage style box, man. Y'all have seen this box quite a few times, so it ain't nothing different about this one, man. Size tag on this one. Before I do read it out and let y'all know what it is, bruh, this shoe has grown on me a lot. I actually was just getting it just to review. I ended up getting a personal for myself because they are just fire, man. I, like, I don't know what happened. I saw them in pictures. Then when I went to Atlanta, I went to a local spot out there. They had them in store, and I said... Let me get them. So, anyways, man, color blocking. I mean, shoe style, all that stuff. Air Jordan 9 Retro Boot what? NRG, man. So, size I did get was an eight and a half. Um, eight and a half, half size down for me. It works. It's a comfortable fit. I like my shoes to fit snug, but I do recommend probably going true to size when you do get these shoes, man. But yes, man, color blocking is military brown legion or legend legion. I think it's legion. Legion green, man. So. Popping open that box top. Of course, you got your little QC sticker over there in the corner. Anything else? Nothing else on that lid. Black paper. Pretty much the same presentation you normally get when you do get your shoes in this type of box. And when we do check out the shoes. Ooh, I got hungry. Bang, man. The Beef and Broccoli Air Jordan 9 Boots. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Oh, and I did... Bro, I didn't even realize that they do come with an extra set of laces, man. That's something I just learned upon popping this open, man. So, let me go ahead and set 
The, man, real quick. Bang, bro. Bro, these is tough, man. These is tough. I do have to grab another shoe real quick to kind of compare this to. But, um, yeah, man, these is tough. So, here we have one, bro. The Air Jordan 9 boot, man. This is the Air Jordan 9 boot. Beef and broccoli. Is it making y'all hungry? Beef and broccoli joints, man. And I think that, bro, I think that these are fire, man. I actually slid my foot in them, seen how they look, and they they hard, man. I love how they look on feet, man. This is actually like a, a indestructible style shoe. It is built for like, you know, tough weather, rain, snow, all that stuff, you know, the way they got it built. If you take a look at that outsole, it does kind of, I don't know, the best I could think uh, is like a golf, like it has like a golf type shoe outsole but that is for like grip so you don't slip if you take a look at that it does have like little spikes little miniature spikes on it on the bottom so it does have good traction grip when you walking through that slush and all that stuff in the snow but man i think i think i'm gonna have to preserve these you know what i'm saying i'm gonna probably wear them on a cold day but not a not a cold wet day you know what i'm saying because i want to keep them crisp like this man these are fire um it has suede all throughout the upper i don't know if y'all can see that yeah i probably can yep that furry suede going all throughout the upper and then like a softer suede on that olive green top man definitely bro these are fire and like i said i didn't even know they came with an extra set of laces speaking of laces they are 3M hits, man. So those white hits on the laces are 3M, man. But here you have them. The Air Jordan 9 NRG beef and broccoli joints, man. I think this is a, a retro, man. I know these came out before, bro. These came out before. I'm just not sure when. But dope, man. Nice splash of red right there on the tongue. More hits on that globe on the back in red, bro. And then even on the hits of the bottom, bro, that is a suede as well, man. So right there where the black hits are on the bottom, that is a suede touch, man. Normally you get that like that rubber bottom on the Jordan 9s, but they hit us with a suede, man. So all over other than the outsole, everything is a suede, bro. And um, I think these are fire to be a boot, in my opinion, man. And um, yeah, you see, you know, got the little clamps. Those metal clamps that hold the laces, fire, 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 man. And it's almost, almost a reverse colorway to bang the Air Jordan 9, which we need a retro. The Air Jordan 9 olives, man. So we got food, man. We got beef and broccoli and we got olives, man. So definitely like an alternate switch colorway, man. Y'all let me know if, if these were in a basketball style shoe, you know, not with all the the extra spikes and the thickness and all that good stuff. If it was a shoe that was made just like this one, which colorway, which colorway would y'all be rocking with, man? <sighs> I'm going to leave it up to y'all, man. I ain't even going to give my thoughts and opinion. I want to hear what y'all got to say, man. But definitely, man, these are two fire pairs of Air Jordan 9s, man. Air Jordan 9s are often slept on, but I definitely, definitely got to give credit to both these colorways. Definitely fire in my opinion. On the back of the olives, you do get a 2-3. You don't get any numbers on the back of the beef and broccolis, man. But, you know, that doesn't make or break it in my opinion. And um, everything is pretty much the same except for where you got those, like... And it, the nines are made after a baseball, you know what I'm saying? But when you do got the indentations right there going up all throughout that black design pattern, it pokes out on the, the boots. Instead of it being like indented like it does have on these, they poke out on the Air Jordan 9 beef and broccoli, man. So it's kind of like a, 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 a hybrid, a remix hybrid, but they're very similar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just, just minor, minor differences, bro. But, bro, y'all let me know down below in the comment section which one would y'all rock with if this was the same exact make as the olives, man. But the olives, bro, we need a retro, bro. Mine's are starting to a little bit. Please do not crack anymore. It's a little bit of cracking right there on my mid, so I don't know if y'all can see it. But please do not crack anymore, man. I need, I need you. I need you until they retro, man. But one more look, man. These are fire, bro. We need them back. But anyways, man, these right here, like I did say, releasing on, what is it, November 10th? November 10th, I think what the date was. 225 is the retail. So you're playing close to 250 after your sales tax, depending on where you live at, man. So not a cheap shoe, but it's definitely a shoe that will last you long, man. Definitely like a winter slash fall shoe, depending on where you live, because it gets cold in the fall in certain places more so than others. 
but yes man um i'm definitely digging these and um i will be popping out with these i will hit y'all with a review on on feet for these so stay tuned for this video let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on the beef and broccoli air jordan nines and let me know as well which one of y'all are picking which colorway the olives or these man but other than that bro that is it for this one another early look man your boy jay is getting up out of here man let me know down below in the comments thoughts and opinions on these joints and other than that I'm going to catch up with y'all, man. Hit that subscribe button. Stay blessed. Eat your beef and broccoli, man. I'm gone, bro. Peace.